So in God's great creation, then the first thing to come out from God, according to the way it would have to be to follow the pattern, was the sun. The first thing that came out from God in the, nat in the spiritual was Christ the Logos, and Christ becomes the light of the world, and God follows the same pattern, whether natural or spiritual. So out of, out of natural cre spiritual creation came the light, Christ. Out of the natural creation would become the sun, and then out of this sun creation would be a, a break off things that came out and became creation, which in the case of what we're speaking of now, then out of there came these, all the stars, moons, planets, a little different than science says, but it follows the spiritual pattern. And then out of this formation, a great clinker comes off of the earth. That great clinker cools and forms and becomes planet earth back when in the beginning God created. Some previous civilization uh, seems to be in scripture was on earth and they were judged and destroyed. And then the earth was covered over with darkness, a mist over the face of the deep. And so we find then in Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, period. And then perhaps millions or billions of years passed and then verse 2, the earth was without form and void. Darkness was over the face of the deep. And that was the earth left in its state of judgment. And then, then out of that, just a few thousand years ago, God began to bring forth an Eden out of this chaos of judgment. And if we were to go further into this, we'd find the very similar thing types right back to the human soul in that we were created with this soul life of God in us was overshadowed by the fallen nature of man. Uh, once man fell, we became under the dominion of the prince of the power of the air, Ephesians 2 tells us. And then God has to send a light and drive back the darkness to bring forth that which he wants within each one of his children. That's not our subject, so we won't stay, stay in that subject.